you have a delta faucet single handle and it makes this type of noise when you open and close it or when you close it it has a drip there's a cartridge inside here it goes down this way which you should replace or grease if it's not dripping and you close it and it's just making noise you're going to want to buy silicone grease that's made for faucets and you go i'll show you how to lube it up but in my case it drips every so often so i'm going to change out the cartridge at the same time first thing you're going to want to do is turn off your water valves on the bottom under the sink you got two control knobs hot and cold you're going to shut them both off you're going to open it up until no water comes out take a razor blade and pop off your cap you have dirt on it like that you're going to clean it up with white vinegar if you look inside there, that's a 1 8 Allen key. There's your 1 8 Allen key. You go at this angle like that, straight in, until it gets in a position, and you're going to crack that loose. You don't have to take it out all the way enough until the handle comes loose. It's a set screw that's in there that holds it against. There you go. Next thing you're going to want to do is take off this cap right here. If you have corrosion or lime or calcium buildup, you can spray all this loose right there. Spray it with vinegar, let it sit, and it'll make it easier to crack it out. Pop off your cap, and this is your cartridge sitting right on top here. If you look around the cartridge, there's a copper ring. You get adjustable pliers take this nut off and as you're taking this nut off you're going to want to hold on to the base of the faucet so the whole thing doesn't unscrew on you if it's too tight get wd-40 on it if it's real tight you can hold it on here and give this a couple taps and it'll bust it loose and you're going to keep going until you pop out the whole nut Some water might come out because my shut off valves. That'd be another video on changing those. Because they're not locking it off 100%. If water starts shooting out of here, we're in trouble. Okay, as you can see, there's your cartridge inside there. You're gonna have to pop this out. Might have to give it a little persuasion. Like so. There's your old cartridge. There's your new cartridge. It's a Delta, part number R, Paul, 50587, $32 in Home Depot. Gonna crack it loose. If you look inside here, you have the same setup. You got your two valves and you got the hole right here. The hole lines like that. So basically the orange goes straight down. In that motion there. Okay. So you're gonna take your cap, you're gonna press it in, like so. Make sure you line it up. It has two tabs. Actually, one, two. Those two tabs will go, you can see it on the camera. There's a tab here, a hole here, and a hole on this side. They lock in. That's in there right there. You gotta hold it there, take the cap, slide it over. Thread it by hand at first, so you don't cross thread it. And once you get it in there, you gotta tighten it up all the way. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Be careful you don't use your tool and scratch up your surface. Hold on to the base and keep tightening it. You don't want it to spin on you.
give it a test. That's the off position. Remember I told you the, the cutoff valve on the bottom is weak? That's the off. This is the hot side. So in another video, I'm gonna show you how to solder in valves. As for now, we're just working with this here. You're gonna take your cap, clean it off with the white vinegar. I'll do it after this video. Thread it back on. Hand tight. That doesn't hold nothing down, that's just a beauty ring. That's it. Okay. You're gonna take your handle with your 1 8 Clean in here as well. I'll do this all after the video. I don't wanna bore you with that. The hole goes in through there, into the rod there. It has a flat section. That's where the set screw get close. The flat section is where the set screw sits on. So this screw will tighten up against this and it has a lip, so it won't allow it to come out. You push that on, tighten up your set screw. Make sure it works. Quiet, no noise. Tighten a little more. Take your hot cold indicator, the little cap, and you can just press that back in, like so. So it's flush. Turn on your water valves from under the sink, and you're gonna test it out. As you can see, it's functional. You got your hot, you got your cold. Let it run for about three minutes in case there's anything in there. Let that just clean itself out. As you can see, it's quiet, no more noise. Shuts off easy. If the valve is working, but it's just making that noise, that grinding noise, you're gonna to wanna to come to the side of the valve. You have a clip here, a clip here. You're gonna pop it open with a little screwdriver. Carefully pry it open. Don't cut yourself. You're gonna work your little flat blade screwdriver underneath and pry it up at the same time. There you go. Then you're gonna open it up slowly. This is your cap. Remember the orientation. You got a little black nipple goes into that hole right there. Put that aside. You're gonna pry this up, which this just sits inside there. As you can see, it has some grease in there already, but that's not enough, okay? You're gonna take your grease, open it up. Put a bunch of grease in here. Grease on the disc inside. You're gonna put this back down into the groove, just like that. Then you're gonna take your cap. It has a groove right here, goes into the nipple that's on the ball. The stick comes through there. And you're gonna push it all back down together. You line up one side, hold it, and then squeeze it down. That locks everything into place. Give it a couple wiggles, and that will solve your problem for a couple months. For now, you save yourself $32 and it doesn't make the squeaking noise anymore. Like I said, all you're gonna need is your 1 8 Allen key, which I have on my hands as a set, small flat blade screwdriver, adjustable pliers, and a razor, just to get the cap off if this doesn't get in there. The razor is thin and it slides underneath the cap easy without marking it up. Hope that video helped you. Questions, comments, leave them below. I get back to everybody.